Hey there, today I want to talk to you about the uh, trailer that I just picked up. This is a Tractor Supply Company trailer. I believe it's made by Carry On Trailer Company. And the reason I bought this was because my little caravan trailer, it was a 5x8, which wasn't quite really 8. It was just uh, was too small for some of the stuff that I'm hauling these days. Uh, and specifically, these Simplicity Sunstar tractors. I've got a couple of them now. Um, wide decks. Uh, Johnny Bucket Jr. stuff like that on the front, snow blower uh, attachment, all that stuff just doesn't didn't fit on that five by eight trailer. So, you are looking at a trailer that is five and a half feet wide, inside dimension, by ten feet long. As I mentioned, it, I picked it up at Tractor Supply. This is not a review because I haven't had enough trailers to uh form a basis of a comparison but i do want to show you some of the features that i do like as well as one specific thing that i don't like uh, most of all um, i want to show you that the the upper rail here is good uh, two inch square tube i like that uh, i do if you like take a look at the tailgate the drop tailgate the expanded metal that's on here is actually underneath uh, the angle iron here it's welded on the underside, and then it's got, uh, what is that, inch and a half, maybe inch and a half square tube supports. But I like the fact that it's um, welded underneath because uh, I recently had to fix a, a friend's trailer where it was on top and the welds were breaking loose and had to re-weld. And it was, it was kind of a pain, but hopefully this will hold up better. Another thing I like, um, I might replace those lights. Those are some inexpensive light. You can get about seven bucks at Walmart. Might replace them with some uh, better LED lights. But specifically, I want to show you the way that the wiring is run on this trailer. We got this this tube. On both sides, there's a tube, and uh, the wiring actually goes through the tube. I really like that. That prevents uh, wires and stuff from underneath from getting caught up. So you'll never have hanging wires underneath. Another thing that I uh, I wanted in a trailer was something with larger tires. My caravan had little tires. This one's got kind of full-size tires. Also, the wheel well has got sheet metal on the inside, so that's a nice touch. And the floorboards are actually made out of 2 by looks like 2 by 6 maybe even 2 by 8 doesn't matter. Treated, it's 2 by whereas the caravan trailer I had was 1 by uh, lumber, so... It's much heavier it's got a couple of stake pockets there if I want to do, uh, do something with that and um, I did pick up a spare for it I uh, had to buy a foot on the bottom I decided not to go the wheel so that's what I like about this trailer those are the features uh, that I want to share with you but one thing I want to show you not necessarily a big deal but when you're dealing with lawn mowers, oftentimes mower decks are a problem. You know, they're, they're too low. And when you load them and unload them, you know, there's a there's a hill. Let's see how I can do this with one hand here. I, I said a hill. I don't know what that meant. But, but right here where the deck and the ramp meet... Sometimes that's a sticky wicket where the uh, deck will hang up if it's sitting too low. And I did notice that right here, this side of the tailgate is sitting lower than the other side. And also the hinge system. This is what I want to talk about specifically. The hinge system, there's a, a pretty good size bump right here. And uh, I did have a deck already get caught up on that so I don't know if there's anything I can do about that but it's the only thing I really so far don't like about the trailer otherwise I'm about to deliver that bad boy there get back to the homeowner or lawnmower owner and um thanks for watching